What? What? Hey, Michael. Hey, what's up, Chloe? Stephanie. <laughs> we are back for another edition of Does It Bite? And I will tell you what bites are horse flies, yeah. and it hurts. But <laughs> yeah. we're not going to talk about horse flies. We're going to talk about all types of flies mm-hmm. because it seems like they are very much a nuisance, and oh, yeah. I don't ever know how to get rid of them except with a fly swatter. So <laughs> yeah. uh, let's talk a little bit about flies. Like, where do they come from, and when do they show up in our houses? Yeah, so flies are, I mean, I remember growing up dealing with those things. You know, yeah. I always thought it was fun chasing around the house with a fly swatter <laughs> and stuff. But, you know, my mom, was, she'll get mad at me because I'll knock something over or break something chasing a fly. Well, and but, it's it's know. a thing. Yeah. Uh, but it does seem like there's certain times of year mm-hmm. that you just have this infestation of flies in the house. Yeah. And it's really challenging to get rid of them. Yeah. So right around maybe April, May, yeah. we'll start seeing flies starting to pop up. Yeah. Um, but they really are active when it gets really hot. Okay. So when it gets hot during the summertime, yeah. um, where animals are at, where people are at, those are the greatest times of year where people really start barbecuing, going outside, spending a lot of time outside. Okay. That's what really brings in a lot of flies, and that's when it really starts get cooking so, during the summer. So what's attracting them um, in our yards or even in our homes? Yes, yeah, so flies are, you know, they're flies. Right. So they're going to fly anywhere and everywhere. But what flies are looking for is food and places to lay their eggs. Okay. That's what they oh, want. The whole so, egg thing. Yeah. So when they fly into your house, they're looking for food. They're looking for water. Okay. Okay. Now, if they're in your yard, then they're probably looking for a place to lay their eggs. Okay. So we find a lot of places that has a lot of dog feces, cat feces, animal feces, um, trash. Um, those are places where flies would love to be. Okay. Because what the, the reason why they do that is that they lay their eggs in those places because when their eggs hatch out, the maggots will eat that stuff because the maggots are little bitty worms. They, they, don't have fly, they don't have wings. They don't fly. They have to have their food source there. So that's why flies lay their eggs in feces, in trash, in dumpsters because their food source for the maggots is there. This is way grosser than I thought it would be. Well, I mean, I mean, you asked. I so. know. So maggots are like yes. one of the life stages of yes. a fly. Yeah. So it's a, it's the larva stage. So oh. it, you have the egg, then you have the larva stage. Now um, they also do lay. If you want to get really gross. Well, go ahead. We've <laughs> already walked down this path. We might as well keep going. They lay their eggs in dead stuff. Okay. So. Um, there was one time I did a dead raccoon removal oh, gosh. underneath the house. And the raccoon had got up into the insulation underneath the house. And I cut the insulation open and the raccoon didn't fall out. The maggots that were eating the raccoon oh, gosh. rained down. Like there was thousands and thousands of maggots raining down while I'm on my back looking at it. Underneath this Keeping house. Keeping your mouth closed, I hope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> and they just rain now oh, because they gosh. were eating the flesh of that raccoon. So the flies knew to lay their eggs inside that rotting carcass because their children will have a chance to wow. eat. How long do they stay in that in that stage? It depends on the, the species of the fly. Okay. So it could be a few days to a few weeks before they come as an adult fly. Interesting. Because mm-hmm. I remember, you know, you've seen maggots like in bottom of um, dumpsters mm-hmm. and tra- areas of yeah. trash. Yeah. The but... flies, flies were smart to lay their eggs in there because the maggots will eat that. I remember one time I was doing a pest control job at a fire station and we had these uh, traps called tin cats. And okay. those tin cats are little tin boxes that allow the mice to come in. Okay. And they get stuck to a sticky pad. Oh, I know so what they're you're alive. Say still until they die you know so the flies were laying their eggs inside those dead mice and i opened that tin cat and i thought the mice were still alive because there was movement because of all the maggots that were inside was causing the mouse to move 
You know what that reminds me of? What's that? That scene from Poltergeist with the steak <laughs> yeah. on the counter and the meat's moving. Yeah. And it's maggots. Yep. It's that's so exactly gross. it. It's so gross. I mean, so that's what, how it is. How do you how do you keep how do you keep that um, as far away from your home <laughs> and yard as possible? Yeah. So you know, we had talked about this before about integrated pest management. Yeah. Yeah. Um, flies are hard to for a pest management company to keep away. Yeah. Because they they can fly basically over our chemical. Okay. Okay. So we can put stuff down. We can put fly baits down, but until the fly lands on it. Is not really going to affect it. Gotcha. So the best thing to do is where we bring in integrated pest management Uh and look at the cultural, mechanical, and biological ways that we can keep these pests away okay. from your house. So you want to make sure that you don't have any, you know, feces around your house, dog mm-hmm. poop, cat poop. Keep it cleaned like up. Keep it cleaned up. Trash needs to be thrown away from the house. Make sure, even your dumpsters, make sure the lids are closed. Oh. I, we know that flies are going to get into the dumpster, but, you know, when you close the lids, this makes it even harder for them yeah. to get in there to lay the yeah. eggs. So that's going to help out a lot. Make sure that your home is excluded so there's no way for flies to get in. Make sure you fix any screens that are ripped. Mm-hmm. The doors are closed. Um, you know, you don't keep the doors open all day long. Right. It, I know it's beautiful outside, especially in the early mornings when the sun is coming up. I mean, it's so beautiful, but you might have to deal with the fly issue. Right. You know, so you want to make sure your house is excluded. That's going to definitely help out a lot. And so what are the type? There's some different types of flies that we see in our area. Mm -hmm. What are some of those? Yeah, so, of course, like you said at the beginning, we we do have the horse flies around here. You know, especially around here where we have a lot of livestock and stuff like that. And that, they hurt. Yeah, those, those, those bad boys hurt. And they're aggressive. They will chase you down. Well, the female will. Just like a female mosquito because she needs the blood meal. She wow. has to have the blood meal, so she will chase you down. Yeah, and I read that they will keep biting until they break the skin to get that yeah, meal. Yeah, isn't that crazy? It's awful. <laughs> and they're vectors also. Yep. Are they yep. the only fly that's a vector? Well, in our area, no. Okay. Because flies can pick up as they move from place to place. You know, they're landing on poop. They're landing on trash, Ooh. so all that salmonella and all that stuff can be picked up on their on their bodies. hairs and stuff in their bodies, and then transferred over to where they land on your hamburger, your grilled cheese sandwich, and then deposit that bacteria onto that, and you eat it, then you get that sickness from it. So, so if you're at the uh, church picnic Sunday afternoon and yep. the potato salad that's not only been left out in the sun for two <laughs> hours but might have is covered in flies it's probably not a good thing to serve that to yourself. Uh, I mean if, if, if sister so and so got on your nerves you could give her a bite. <laughs> That's not very Christian, Michael. Um, I did not mean to get us so off track. So we have horse flies, and then um, also during certain times of year, we get fruit flies. Right. Are those related to gnats as well, or is that a different? It's still a fly. It's okay. still a fly. And, you know, fruit flies will like to spend most of their time around, of course, the fruit. Yeah. So, you know, especially rotting fruit, that's where they eat and thrive and stuff like that. We also have drain flies. Drain flies oh, is a big deal. I don't know about that. Um, so drain flies are those little bitty flies that fly up and they have really big wings compared to their body. Okay. And when you smush them, they kind of leave a smudge. Yeah. Those are drain flies. Okay. So drain flies are a what we, when we go out and see it, we know there's a drain problem okay. because they lay their eggs in clogs and stuff inside the drain. So the same thing as a house fly and a horse fly and all that stuff, they lay their eggs where their young can feed. Oh so gosh. if you have drain flies, you probably have a drainage issue. So you probably have a clog in your pipe somewhere that, Interesting. They're, that they're at. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, all right. So flies, um, any other prevention um, or treatment? Um, Mist Away. Oh, uh, yeah. We did talk about that yeah, earlier. Mist Away is one of our mosquito treatments, yeah. but it also affects flies. We've had some Mist Aways go in just for flies. So, yeah. Really? It, it, will, it will help with flies. And that, and remind us again, because they if they land on, this, on a surface that doesn't, they have to land on a surface for it to kill them. 
But for, with Mr. Way. Yes. With Mr. Way, they're actually flying through, through the it, mist. Which is what? Which brings the chemical to them and kills them off. Wow. So it's, it's a pretty cool system. So that's really the most effective professional pest management right. for flies. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Otherwise, get out your bug tech fly swatter. If you don't have one, call all me, you got to do one. is call Michael. <laughs> We've, and I wish I'd have thought to bring one. Uh, you got to get out your uh, fly swatter uh -huh. and go to town. Yes, ma'am. Um, and it's fun. It's fun if you're good at it, but yeah. it's also a little challenging. And, and, and it can cause some domestic disputes. I've seen wives chase husbands with them, so. <laughs> well, that's another edition of Does It Bite? Uh, thanks, Michael, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>